G'day, Spoon Guy here. Uh, just a very quick video on a very windy day, just to show you my carving block which someone on in a previous video. So we'll just uh, turn the camera on. Okay, here it is, my carving block. It's a top of a stump of a cassia brewster tree, and as you can see, we've got just this notch cut out here. That's for allowing the spoon when we're carving in there. This particular stump also has quite conveniently this area down here where we can also lay the spoon. The legs are eucalyptus. Just ones I got from the bushwalk. Being here in Australia, eucalyptus is a local tree. As you can see there, squared them off, chiseled out some square holes, put some wedges in. The main thing about your carving block is the height. That height there, I'll just show you on the shadow here, here's the shadow, that height there should be just about the top of your hip. If you cut your legs a bit long then you can soon lower the block to suit you. And of course if you want to you can have a little block like this. This is from a uh, piece of an old telegraph pole, it's eucalyptus and that's quite good if you're sitting in a chair and uh, you can use that quite comfortably and that even has a little bit of a notch on the side as well which is useful for balancing things on and then if you're doing some spoons you can then rest them against the side here and brace the, the block with your other foot so that's my two carving blocks that I use and uh, over in the background there is my usual carving spot but a bit blowy and cold over there today thanks for watching and uh, we'll do another video soon